space program leaping forward into the cosmos since the dawn of Kerbal Kine, we have looked to the sky and wondered what sublime mysteries lie hidden in the darkness like jewels never beheld these untold treasures may soon reveal themselves due to the efforts of recently founded Kerbal Space Program. Oh my! I think that might have been the only copy of the orientation film. Hold on! Slides! Uh, somewhere! Ahem! Welcome to your first day running the Kerbal Space Program. This campus hosts the greatest ever gathering of astronomers, astronauts, and engineers. After years of focused effort, this collection of geniuses has created several very impressive buildings. We believe we have all the necessary pieces to take our first steps off the ground. The best way to advance our technologies further is to get up there and learn by doing. All we need now is somebody to show us how to put all these parts together. Well, we also need somebody to help us out with the flying. We need a lot of help, actually. That's why you're here. My name is Paige, by the way. If you need any hints, feel free to visit me over at the training center. Everything in there is well padded, so it's a great place to get up and running. Welcome aboard. Space is the place. So you want to get to space. Have you tried rockets? Rockets use fuel and engines to create thrust, which propels them forward. When a fuel tank is empty, it is dropped to stay as lightweight as possible, allowing the rocket to go even faster. These tanks, as well as other expendable parts of a rocket, are called stages. Different stages do different things. Often the first stage is very powerful, with just enough fuel to get the vehicle through the atmosphere. The second stage usually has a low thrust engine that, while not as powerful, is more fuel efficient. After dropping the heavier first stage and leaving the atmosphere, the second stage engine pushes the much lighter second stage to orbital speed. space, the final stage parachutes back down to the surface, ideally in one piece. Welcome to the launch pad. As you embark on your journey into rocketry, it's important to get all the crashing out of your system here in the simulator. It really cuts down on the awkward phone calls. Today, you'll be launching into the virtual skies over KSC, where you'll learn how to control a rocket. Let's learn how to rotate the flight camera. That way, you can see the launch from your favorite angle. Great, you can also zoom the camera in and out. Nice, go ahead and pick your favorite view for this launch. Your rocket is ready for launch. Every good launch starts with a big green button and lots of fire. Most bad launches do too, actually. Looking good. Ascend to 1,000 meters, and then we'll learn some controls. Okay, you're a kilometer up. You can still crash, but you'll have more time to correct your course if you start pointing at the ground. Let's learn some rocket controls. When flying a rocket or a plane, we have specific terms for moving. Pitch tilts your rocket's nose up and down. Nice pitch. Now pitch up until you're flying straight up.
Let's move on. Yaw steers your rocket left and right. Try it now. Now yaw to the left. Excellent. Now for the final control. Roll rotates your rocket clockwise and counterclockwise. Try it now. That's the basics of rocket flight. Feel free to experiment with the controls. We can move on when you're ready. So you want to get to space. It's time to make a rocket. A simple rocket requires four crucial components. A command module, fuel tank, engine, and parachute. Let's start by learning how to add a command module. A command module allows us to control our vessel. As long as there is at least one command module on board, our rocket will be operational. This rocket will use a command pod, which can be manned by a Kerbal and is located in the pods category. Or multiple Kerbals. It all depends on the crew capacity of the part. For this lesson, we're going to make a small rocket. So we need a small command pod. Let's add this one. Great! It doesn't look like much, but it's a promising start. The next thing our rocket needs is a fuel tank. Fuel, or propellant, is an expendable resource used to power our vessels. Without fuel, we won't be going anywhere, let alone space. Let's look at the small fuel tanks. How about that one? Rocketry Weekly calls it good enough. <laughs> How exciting. Notice the part is once again attached to your cursor. If you place your cursor near the bottom of your command pod, you'll see it snap into place. Then left click to attach it. Now that's beginning to look like a rocket. Well, almost. We need an engine. Here at the KSP, we have four different types of engines. Launcher, sustainer, orbital, and deep space engines. To break free of Kerbin's soupy atmosphere, we want either a launcher or sustainer engine. I personally like sustainers. What can I say? They keep me going. Now let's add the sustainer engine to the fuel tank. Excellent! Our rocket is looking pretty great. We just need one final touch. As is, our rocket can absolutely take flight. But if we want our pilot to survive the landing, we need to attach a parachute to the top of their command pod. Our one Kerbal rocket doesn't weigh much, so we only need an extra small parachute. Let's go with that one. Now, all we need to do is put it on top of the command pod. It won't do as much good on the bottom. Congratulations! You've just built a rocket. Are you sure you haven't done this before? As you start to build rockets, you'll want to see your designs from other angles. Let's learn how to manipulate the camera inside the vehicle assembly building. First, let's rotate the camera. Nice! Now let's zoom the camera in and out. Great! Now let's pan the camera up and down. You can also focus your camera at a specific part. If you want to view your rocket from the top, front, or sides, switch to blueprint mode. You can change the camera's direction by selecting different sides of the view cube. If you ever get lost in the VAB, you can always reset the camera. Nice! Now you can get at those hard-to-reach parts of your rocket. Your rocket's ready. Let's take it out for a little hop. Let's move this rocket to a launch pad. Welcome to the launch pad. 
Today, you'll be flying straight up. Your rocket should do fine without any steering inputs, but if things get out of line somehow, feel free to intervene. You've cleared the launch tower and your flight is underway. Let's learn about staging. Rockets are constructed in sections called stages. Each stage is designed for a different part of a mission. When a stage completes its job, it's dropped to shed weight. On your right, you'll find the staging stack. It displays all of the functions contained in each stage. Every time you select the Go button, you'll activate a new stage, starting from the bottom of the stack. Each stage's fuel supply is shown on a bar next to the stage. Your active stage, stage one, still has a little fuel in it. When it goes dry, you'll drop that stage by selecting Go. Your first stage is out of fuel, and all it is doing is slowing you down. To drop that weight, you're going to activate your next stage. That will activate a decoupler, which will drop your empty stage. It will also activate your next engine. Once you activate a stage, there's no going back. Ready? Hit go to lose that mass. Congratulations, you're nearly to space and your next set of fuel tanks are empty. Now is a good time to drop them. Activate the next stage, your capsule will now continue coasting up. All that's left to do is gaze back down at Kerbin and wonder if you remembered to lock your car. Nice work! Your capsule has a lot of momentum. If you're curious how high up you are, take a look at your altimeter. You're so high that you can see the curve of the horizon. Rocketry involves a lot of waiting between the cool explosions. You can speed up time by selecting the time warp controls at the bottom of your screen. Check out your altimeter. See how quickly those numbers are rising? Let's ride the rest of the way up and fast forward. You're about to start falling back down. Let's slow down and enjoy the view. Great job. You're now a master of time. Try not to use this new power for evil. What goes up must come down. Wind resistance will slow down your capsule's descent, but not enough to prevent it from turning into a bunch of tiny capsules when it lands. That's why we've attached a parachute. If you deploy your parachute too early, it'll be torn off. If you deploy it too late, you'll do some unplanned underground exploration. The sweet spot for Kerbin is between 20,000 and 2,000 meters. Okay, you're low enough to activate the final stage that contains your parachute. Hit go to pop your chute. Nice work. The parachute will trail your capsule for a bit without fully opening. Once you've slowed down enough, It'll open all the way by itself. Your parachute is now fully deployed and slowing the capsule to a safe velocity. Congratulations! If this were real, you'd find celebratory snacks in the VAB kitchen. <laughs>